Assalamualaikum and hi my lovely student. So for this video, we will discuss our practice to do C. So this is question number one. Okay, wait, I'll use laser pointer. Okay, given that four matrices, P, Q, R and S, determine whether the following multiplication of matrices can be performed. If yes, take the order of the product of the pair, pairs of matrices. Okay, I'll just mention uh, this to identify whether the following multiplication can be performed. So, if you if you don't know how to solve this question, you can uh, go to my video, chapter 2, part 4. Okay, so this is the answer. Yes, for A, P, Q. And the order of the product is 2 by 1. B, also yes. And the order is 2 by 3. C, R, S cannot be performed. B, also cannot be performed. E, yes. And the product is 2 by 3. F, cannot be performed. So, number 2. It is given that two matrices, matrix E, matrix U, Four, sorry, four matrices. Matrix P, U, V, and W. Calculate P, P, U means matrix P times with matrix U. So this is matrix P and this is matrix U. So remember from my previous video, the first matrix just use the row and the second matrix just use the column. So, this is the first row time first column. This is the first uh, first row time second row time first column. And this is for the first column, a uh, first row time second column. And this is second column time with second uh, second row time with second column. So you just calculate all this, and then you will get this answer. So, this is the answer for, uh, for A. For B, matrix U times multiply with matrix W. So, this is matrix U and W. So, just follow. And, uh, remember, please remember this one only row. Row times column. Row times column. Okay. So, this is the answer for B. For C, this is matrix U multiply with matrix V. So this is the answer. Question D. Matrix W multiply with matrix V. So this is the answer. E. W square means W matrix W multiply with matrix W. So this is the answer for E and F W cube. So you just uh, take the answer that you get in E and then you multiply with W again. So this is the answer you get in E multiply with W. So this is the answer for F. So I really hope you understand this because I'm going uh, fast. Because I already um, explained all this in my previous video. So if you get confused, you have to refer to my previous video before you do your work. So question number three. Given that this metric time with this metric equals to this metric, calculate the value of x and y. So the first row of this metric with the first column or the column of the second metric so you get this and the second row times this column you get this so just um, compare these two elements 
So you get the value of x and y. So if you don't understand, I will show you. Okay, so for the first element here, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Plus 7x equals to 31. So you just solve this. 7x equals to 31 plus 4 is 35. So x equals to 35 divided by 7, which is 5. So this is the answer for x. Okay. Do the same thing for the y. So you, you get the value of y. Next question number 4, given that this, uh, this matrix multiply with this matrix, this is the answer or the product of the of the multiplication of, of these two matrix matrices. So calculate the value of R and S. So the first row of the first matrix times with the first column of the second matrix. So that is and do and do the same thing the other element equals to this product here the answer here to solve this to compare these two element then you get the value of r okay do the same thing and you will get the value of s I also explained this in my previous video so if you don't understand this, please refer to my previous video. Question number five. Given that F, this, uh, given that this is metric G and this is metric H, calculate the value of P, Q, and R. Okay. If G, H equals to this, so just for for G, H, you just multiply metric G. And metric H equals to this metric. So this is metric G and this is metric H. And this is the product of metric H multiplied with metric, metric G multiplied with metric H. So this one you just multiply these two matrices. And then you compare the element. Okay, so to get the value of P is equals to 2. Q is equal to 7, R is equal to 1. Okay, so for B, B squared, G squared, so G times T. 3G times 3G, you'll get this. So multiply these two matrices to get this. Next, you just compare the element. So you will get this answer. P is negative 1, Q is 3, R is 6. Next for C. So this is metric H multiplied with metric G. So this is the product of metric H multiplied with metric G. Okay, the same thing just like just now. So you will get the value of P, Q, and R. Okay, to solve this question, you need um, you need a basic uh, algebraic uh, knowledge to solve this a linear equation. Uh, you have learned this in your form one. Okay, so for question B. So this is metric H and metric H. So this is the product of the multiply of these two matrices. So you get the value of P, Q, and R. Okay, next question number six. Okay, Mr. Koh ran a booth in Educational Expo sell three types of goods as shown in the table below. So this is first day, second day, 
A and roots A, B and C. It is given that the profit of, of one item sold for selling goods A, B and C are 5 ringgit, 8 ringgit, 6 ringgit respectively. Calculate the total profit earned by Mr. Koh every day. Show your calculation in the form of matrices. So, it is given that the total profit is equal to sales of good A times profit of good A. Okay. So, this is the sale of goods A, B and C for the three days. And this is the profit. So, you just multiply first row with the column and do the same thing for the second and third row you will get this so this is the, the profit or the this is the profit for first day okay so this is for second day and day. so the total profit uh, okay every day so the question asks you every day so this is the for the first day, second day, and third day. If the question asks you to calculate the total profit for the three days, just uh, plus all these three values. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you, and see you in the next video.